Hi everyone, Mary Nespresso Press Design. Welcome on this foggy, humid Tuesday, August 6th. Thanks for hanging out with me. Today is uh, a new project, not a 12 by 12, although I have two of those. And pardon me if you hear my husband speaking, he's having a meeting upstairs. But today we're going to do a little tunnel specimen card. It took me forever to figure out how to do it without having to use dies, and I finally came up with it. But first, the usual thank yous and uh, appreciation to Kathy, Peggy Lee, Lil Raven, Janine, Christine, Sandra, Cecilia, April, and Bev. Nice to. I hope you're doing well, Bev. Sorry I have not had time to be on Facebook very much as of late. But, um,. I hope you're doing well and thank you everyone for the kind comments and the reviews and everything else. Uh, new products. This is Vintage Keepsakes. It's on Etsy. This is Odds and Ends. It's also on Etsy. And I'd like to say about this one, if when you print it out and it looks a little blurred, it's not your printer, it's not the resolution, it's intentional to the design. And that's in the description. And this is on Etsy. There is another Remnants. This one is not Rusted Remnants, it's Remnants, and it's on Shopify. And I think it's at least 30 pages. And I want to say that when there are two products, one on Etsy, one on Shopify, the one on Shopify does not have duplicates from the one on Etsy. So if you want to, if you like it on Etsy and you want to head over to Shopify and buy the bigger and better collection, um, there aren't any duplicates. This is the Scribe and it is on Shopify. Love, love, love this paper. It's all about writing and scribbling and pen and ink and everything that a scribe would need. <laughs> so that's on Shopify and that is this week's projects. So we are going to make these cute little tunnel specimen cards. And I'm going to show you how to do the basic ones. And this one I'm going to um, try to correct my own mistakes because the papers are too identical in tone and you can't really see the tunnel effect. But this one, hopefully you can a little bit more. This is my prototype. So it's, a, it's fun, it's a little time consuming. So for that reason, today I'm just gonna be using buttons as a motif. This one I look for all kinds of little found things and this one I just use flowers. <clears throat> but so I can practice this myself just gonna stick with something simple and teach you. So you'll need three punches gradated. And mine are um, one and a half, one, and I think this one is five eighths. 
So that's what I'm going to be using. And you'll need at least three or four two and a half by two and a half inch squares. Because one will be your front, one will be your middle, one will be your back, and then you need a back. Okay? And what I am going to do today is punch two at a time so I can try to create a little more depth. But I'm just going to do that on layers one and two. Okay? So this is going to be my front. So I'm going to get my punch. Hopefully I don't have to. I don't know if I can clip these together. I'm hoping there goes my husband with the chair. This meeting must be over. <laughs> okay, I can maneuver my clip in there. And with two and a half by two and a half, I can get it cent <clears throat> centered pretty well in my EK punch. So there's my first square. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this one on the top so I can see it. Gonna line that up. Don't worry if it's not perfect. And I'm gonna put a hole, put it not a hole, a dot as best I can. My hand quit shaking. In the center. that. And then, okay, there's one and two. Clip those together a little bit. This is my one inch punch. And I'm going to go in and find the center hole there. Get it nice and centered on the paper as well. I made my putt. Okay. Here's my second hole. So now I have a little more contrast there. And they're not exactly lined up, but that's okay. So the third one is a little more tricky because my punch will not reach the center here. So I'm going to fold it. Find the center. Put a little dot have to crease this a little more. And I'm going to try to go halfway in this little punch. As best I can.
and make it third hole. That's not exactly circular. So I'm just going to go in a little more. The first time I did it perfectly. Just going to go in a little more so that's not so oval looking. That's a little better. And it doesn't matter if there's a fold in there because it's going to be on the bottom. So there, that's better. See, we have our three, three dimensions. And then our other piece is going to be in the back. And there we go. So I'm just going to glue these together. <coughs> because I thought it would be better if I had a little more depth. Now you could use packaging. That would probably be, probably be thick enough right from the start. Get these glued together. And I just did it on the first and second layer. And it doesn't matter if it's not lined up perfectly because we can fix that at the end. I'm going to show you how. Okay, and then I'm going to glue my third one <coughs> onto its backing. <coughs> but let me show you something first here. See that little, do you see that little face in there? That was glued directly onto the backing, and then the hole was glued on top of it, like so. So if you want something back there, rather than a blank hole, probably put that on first, and that's still a little off. <laughs> So you have to pra practice your circle, half circles. And you can do this with any shape. You can cut out shapes. If you have dies, you can use gradated dies. Doesn't matter. So there's our back. And still, that's not overly thick. So, I'm trying to get the same amount of border. And as you can see, it's getting a little off. Because I want these to be lined up. like so. But what I did when, when they were a little off, I went around the edge with tape. My own homemade washi tape. So hopefully you can see that. So it doesn't matter if the edge isn't on, okay? So now we're going to decorate our first layer. And as I said, I'm just using buttons here. Because it's just easier. Um, I do have a couple little butterflies. Okay. 
Okay, let's just try that one. Yes, it does get a little fiddly. Okay. Now you can try to figure out your design before gluing anything down. But for the sake of time, I'm just kind of winging it a little bit. Oops, don't move. You're still wet. Okay, so that's my first layer, and I just have a little button, and then of course the top, the front layer is the one that, oh geez, you popped right off. The top layer is the one that gets decorated the most. Okay. So my second layer, I can probably put two buttons. Let me see. Well, I probably don't want them the same. That might work. But I also want them to stand out, right? Because this is the mini version of the tunnel book. Wish I had a little red heart. Um, a little green heart. A little star. Let me see if this um. No. A little black heart, or black, and it just came apart. <laughs> um, what color are you? Let me try that one. But I still think I need a larger one. Let me try that blue one. Because it has a little black. Okay, I'm going to do that. Maybe I should. I think I will. I think I'm going to glue these together before I decorate my next layer. Get that border as even as possible. And I'll put my second layer on there. Okay. 
there's a second layer and I still think it needs something else because I can probably fit two things on this layer. without losing the effect. That white one is standing out a little too much. Okay, there's another word. Let me see how that looks. Okay, that'll be good enough. Put that one on there. <sighs> My husband's blowing his nose. Okay. Now I'm going to line up. I think I'm going to move that down a little bit so it's underneath the lip, the edge. Then I'm going to place this I have to move it a little more then I'm going to place that like so Ideally, my heart would have been over a little bit more so it wasn't peeking out. So it wasn't, um, so it was underneath over here as well. That would have been better. So it is better to play around with your layout first. Okay. So I'm going to glue on my third and I'm mostly paying attention to my border. Okay. I'm getting it as straight as I can. Now you could go around and trim all those if you want, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use some tape, washi tape, homemade washi tape. So let me just get right, a stack of magazines over here. Just move my crap. Okay, so I'm just going to see here what I can lift. I've been through that one 50 times. Okay. Coffee don't want yellow. Um, it's not really going to matter what's on this tape, but you're not going to be able to read it. So, let's see here, red or pink. Let's see. 
There is a little blue in this paper. That's why I'm seeing if it's similar enough. It, this will work. out of tape already. Let's see what I get. Okay, hopefully good enough. Gonna go around that edge. Not perfect, but it's gonna have to do. Trim that off. I still didn't order any washi, but I do have some in my wish list that I finally found. Let me see if I can lift another of that same one. And I think it's moist enough. Good enough. Just want some color on there. Maybe I should have chose black and white. So now I'm going to wrap that edge. Whoops, and I didn't decorate my front. Okay, I'll do that last. I knew something was missing. <laughs> I was going too fast. Now last night this it took me forever to do that little red one. That's why I'm trying to go faster. I think I need some more water. salvage myself here because my color combination isn't that great for this tape. That one works. And it's a little crooked. Okay. Now when you look around, I mean you can find all kinds of themes here. You can make all kinds of shapes as long as they're gradated. Anything you want, boy, I sure picked up that flower. I'm just going to fold that over. Make sure it's folded over. Burnish it. So 
so I actually changed the whole design of the front <laughs> just by adding that tape and now mostly all you can see is the text okay there we are we burnish that a little better okay get this out of the way So maybe now I can put my butterfly, although butterflies and buttons don't really go, but I think I can get away with it. And I can still put something down here because I can still see enough order. That'll work. As I said, I'm just trying to show you here. And I have to, um, you know, I have to practice this a little more myself. get it how I want but you can hopefully you can clearly see the borders let me stand up here you can clearly see every layer and it's pretty okay what else I do have a little blue butterfly too. Maybe I'll do that. I'll just put two butterflies on the front. Yeah, I think I will. Okay. And then, of course, you can, um, I have a ton of little tiles that are perfect for this kind of thing. Of course, people used Tim Holtz people. Here we go. What else can I put? One, two, let me count. One, two, three, four, five. I can probably put two little things and make it seven. And, and it, I also put a tab. So maybe I can do a tab. Have a little piece of, yeah, I can do a quick tab. A little piece of black here. And that will give me are you glued? Yes you're glued. Put that a little shorter. get my tape off my glue or my tape off my glue my tape off my scissors I think that needs to be a little little less deep let me see hopefully my corner ticket corner will work. I wish I would have put the tab on first. 
and then the butterfly, but oh well. Is what it is. Okay. And of course, if you have dyes, you can make these much larger. Or if you just, if you are good enough with the knife. utility knife which I'm not <laughs> so I was desperately trying to come up with a way to get three holes without um, using dies or using the knife or tearing or anything like that Okay, so there we go. But I still want to, I still want something else. <clears throat> so probably what I'm going to do is find another little button. No. Another little button to put there. So I can layer those, layer, tie those two together. Okay. I don't love. That I have two word buttons together, but it's going to have to do. Because I need that little space there is awkward. And I don't like it. Plus I need another element. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's better. Seven little elements. Can you clearly see that? Let me stand up. Okay. Not bad for on the fly, I think. Maybe, I wish I had another word garden. Maybe I'm going to try to find a little number or something to put in that corner. Let me see. Oh, I wish I had a blue one. Uh, I think that might work. Let me just cut these little words out of here. Just kind of want to, um, straighten up that. Make that a little less noticeable that it's crooked. Okay. That'll work. And I'm probably going to put the Tim Holtz one on the photo. Because that's Tim Holtz paper, Tim Holtz elements. Let 
ephemera that's been sitting in my ephemera boxes for I don't even know five six years because they're so tiny those tiny little things I only use them okay so even though I took my thing from seven to eight can I go for nine probably um Just see if I can get a circle here with a number on it. That'll work. Put that under that flower. And here we go. These are fun. And I do have a new set of circle dies. I would like to make a larger one. But for the sake of time, For the sake of teaching, <laughs> it's easier to try to make it smaller and besides that, it's, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it in this size. And I love little specimen cards and this one is just a little different. box. Okay. Get a piece of paper here. Where are we? 44. Okay. I'm going to lay these out and then I'm going to bring them up and show you close up once again because too hard to see. So remember, um, either use packaging or something a little thicker. Put two, two pieces of paper together so you can get a little more depth. Um, make sure there's enough contrast between each layer. And uh, that's about it. Okay, this was my first one, which I still like. That was my prototype. Hopefully, you can see those that little tunnel effect. This was my second one, which took well over an hour. And the problem is there's not enough contrast between the three papers. And this one is my third one, which has a little more depth, a little more contrast, and it's working much better to give me that little tunnel effect. Okay, everyone. Sorry I didn't have much time to chat, but get out the door and go feed the dogs. Okay, there we go. Ton what am I going to call this? Specimen tunnel specimen slides. Specimen, yeah. Tunnel specimen slides is probably what it's going to be called, and it's a lot of fun. Once you get it, it's not too hard, but it just gives you a little something special to tuck in a journal or 
give away or just see how many different types of themes you can come up with because it's a lot of fun. Okay everyone, thank you so much for your time. I'll see you next time. Bye!